video, I will share some updates to install Live Sync between Clo 3D and Unreal Engine 5.5. Please follow along with this video that shows you all of the steps. Today, I will just outline three key differences. These are minor, but are annoying when you're trying to set up. These include installing Substance 3D for Unreal Engine, installing the Clo 3D Live Sync plugin, and setting up transparency. Start by opening the Epic Games Launcher and launch Unreal Engine. Go back to the launcher. This tab looks different now. Go to Fab and you can click Start Exploring. It will open up an internet browser and you can search for Substance 3D for Unreal Engine. And it looks like this. However, mine said that it was not available in my region for some reason. I'm in the US in Nebraska and I don't know why I did that. So I just searched it up and found it on Adobe. I'll link to this in the description. Just click it and then it brings you right back here and then you can install the plugin. Back in the launcher, go to library, click install to engine down here. And once it's complete, you can go to the installed plugins page and see it here. This next step will show you another problem that I ran into. When you install from the launcher, it will create this marketplace folder that does not already exist on brand new projects. Follow this breadcrumb trail to that mysterious marketplace folder. It was created when you added the Substance 3D plugin. When you download LiveSync, it's a zipped file. Extract all and then copy this entire folder to that marketplace folder. Substance will also be there and it looks like this. In Unreal Engine, go to Edit, Plugins. And before it didn't matter, but now you have to type CLO with all capital letters and it will appear here and you check it on and then you'll need to restart. Do the same thing for Substance 3D and I outlined this in the other video. The only other difference that I ran into between the previous setup and this one is in project settings. Scroll down to platforms, windows, and I'm using DirectX 11, but some have reported that they needed to use 12. I don't know why. Then up here, type transparency and you will enable order independent transparency and you check that on and then restart the engine. And then again, just follow all the instructions in the other video. They're basically the same except for these three major things. And uh, you should have Live Sync updated in no time. It worked pretty well. I've been happy with it so far. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments.